has arrived. Yeah, get ready. We're about to see the brutal striking ability of Shinsuke Nakamura on display. Shin is a true international superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. To think big. His opponent, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. With Big E's coming your way, you better have your mind right. Yeah, Big E shot to fame as part of one of the greatest factions in history, the New Day. But now Big E is ready to prove that he can dominate alone. Biggie in action, a superstar who loves to have fun, but as we all know by now, behind the laughter lives a dangerous competitor. Oh yeah, Michael. Biggie is a bad, bad man, and you cannot go into a match taking him lightly. That would be a recipe for disaster for sure, Byron. Biggie may love to joke around to be a big goof, but things are about to be no laughing matter here in this one. And across the way, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style, a striker whose reputation precedes him and who many superstars rightly fear. Yeah, when it comes to Nakamura, just one of his earth-shaking strikes could be all it takes for him to grab the win here tonight. Oh, what a back body drop. That's an attack that takes aim at the king of strong style's crown. As Big E was reminding him just how serious he can be. He's going for it all. From the top, whoa, look out. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Launched with a belly to belly. For as intense as he is, I think we all know that Big E loves to have fun. I imagine you believe that'll be to his detriment in this one, don't you, Corey? Not necessarily, Cole. Big E knows when to have fun and when to get to work. Additionally, it gets the WWE Universe on his side, which in turn powers Big E even further. I may not love the power of positivity, but I'm not blind to how Big E performs when he knows to get serious and earn the W. Oh my goodness, and look at this now, bad intentions coming with this hold. Abdominal stretch, it's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. I'm not quite sure if this... How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. Oh, what a knee strike. Ah, oh, kick. Nasty kick. Whoa. Effective arm drag. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Looking for the victory. It only gets a one count. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Back to it, returning to the ring. Big E with the big ending. Into the cover. Uh, the cover. And this one is over.
These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Big E! Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Movie star, good looks, charismatic as the day is long, and tough as nails. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. Oh, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. Ricochet out here tonight for competition. One of the most innovative high flyers we've ever seen, guys. Yeah, Cole, Ricochet is definitely innovative, but he also still definitely has a chip on his shoulder. He has something to prove. Every flip and dive and even burst of energy is just his attempt to do that. Ricochet will absolutely have a chance to prove himself in this one. Well, too bad he's getting in there with L.A. Knight. This guy says WWE today is his game, and with the skills Knight has, he's frankly not wrong. Knight's a... Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be... Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. O'Connor roll, roll, roll through. Into the Pele kick. The WWE Universe feeding Ricochet's confidence now. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Power slam. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gap. Kick to the knee. La Maestro cradle. Perfectly applied. And he only stays down for a one count. We often talk about the smash mouth style of LA Knight, but his athleticism sometimes gets overlooked. Corey, which aspect of his entering game do you think? Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Spinebuster. Will it be? Kick it out before the count. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. He 
Staples moonsault. Big kick. Knight caught by surprise. Beautiful drop kick. Perfectly executed Northern Light suplex, and there's more Brain Buster! Death Valley Bomb. Knight doesn't have any room to recover. Knight is going to have to dig down deep here. The WWE Universe feeding Ricochet's confidence now. Knight managing to get some control back now. Time now for Knight to battle back into this fight. Oh, my God. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Looks like L.A. Knight has no respect for... Not allowing that to go on any longer. Check out the springboard. Close line. That was amazing. Does he have him here? No, a two count. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Sharp knee. He may be in a bad way here. The stupendous speed and power of Ricochet is yet to run out of steam. Boom, right across the small of the back. Ricochet ready to strike. 6.30 splash from Ricochet. Wow, Ricochet got it. Two count. An emphatic victory. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. victory guys no contest that's why they call it light work Cole barely even broke a sweat These two have wanted to get their hands on each other. All right, they couldn't wait to get things started. Not wasting any time here. Why wait? The time is now. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Oh, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had any yourself, you might understand. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Oh, torturous knee. Oh, man. He's heading back to the ring. Right to the kidneys from behind. Fall away moonsault. Wow. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Humberto flashes those pearly whites, and the crowd tells him what they think. Top rope. Here we go. He's lining him up. From the top. Headbutt. That looks painful. How do you contend with a flashly and acrobatic superstar like Humberto? Do you focus on grounding him? Yeah, that's exactly right. Attack Umberto's legs and keep him away from the ropes. If he can't get airborne or build up speed, Umberto becomes a much less lethal competitor. No. Course group plancha. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. 
The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Thrown back in under the ropes. Cole does it better. An aggressive charge against Top Dollar now. A full court press being applied to Top Dollar. He's absorbed some damage already. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Ah. Uh, crank in the head. Climbs back inside. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Hooked up. PDT. A lot of momentum now on Umberto's side. A killer instinct from Umberto shining through. Umberto locks the arms, rings of Saturn submission, cinched in, he's got it locked in, it's locked in! Now would be a wise time to submit. Trapped and nowhere to go, trying to muscle out of this, look at the heart, the determination! was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Foot overhand chop. He's getting a little batter now. I can't imagine how far they're willing to take this. Every week we've seen this escalate, and it's only a matter of time before it blows up. Let's just hope we're not in the blast radius, guys. Duck and cover. Getting set up for something in the corner. Humberto goes down low. Now from the middle row. Flipped into a pile driver. Cover. Two. Wow, what a win. Humberto with the victory. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, Umberto! Well, this win says it all. Even if you pull out all the stops, there's no shortcut to victory. Definitely a hard-won victory. Would have been a slightly easier win. The dangerous Santos Escobar from Lucha Royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Every move Escobar makes honors his family and the tradition of Lucha Libre. Yeah, you gotta watch your step around Santos Escobar because he can drop you in a second. Well, there's an understatement. Escobar's already doled out so much punishment to anyone opposing Legato. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. And you know, all powered with bad intentions. The modern day Maharaja looking to prove himself again. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern-day Maharaj.
Persia, Jinder Mahal. Well, the modern day Maharaja looking as prideful as ever. With good reason, and show a little respect, Saxton. Jinder has fans all over the globe. Well, apparently none of them are here. Well, Jinder's absolutely beloved in his homeland. Oh, listen, he wants to give them something to celebrate. We'll start with Santos Escobar, the self-styled emperor of Lucha Libre. What does that even mean, Corey? Santos sees himself as tradition and modernity all in one. He honors the past with old school lucha moves, but pushes into the future with modern presentation and technique. He understands the best way to keep tradition alive is to allow it to grow and change. And if I may add, he's completely ruthless to boot. And across the way is Jinder Mahal, a man who is as merciless as he is arrogant. Jinder claims he's on a hero's journey to greatness, but I think he's clearly a villain. Saxton, I hate to break it to you, but there are no heroes and villains. Just men and maharajas like Jinder Mahal. Oh, and then the chest as well. Yeah. Reversal on Mahal. Up and the spine buster. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Strong takedown. Seated drop kick. Cover. Is it enough? Shoulders up before two. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? Oh, God. Kick to the gut. Not done yet. Suplex right on the arm. Escobar is picking the competition apart. Blend of that Lucha Libre style and power, keeping Escobar. Oof, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. I think that attack will knock Jinder's arrogance down a peg. Santos went a little old school with that one, I think. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. Left by the turnbuckles, and Mahal's in a disheartening spot. Jinder has a storm to weather here. Knew what was coming there. Jinder's pushing back now. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Jinder Mahal looking to intimidate his opponent. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Oh, this hair is vintage. Snake eyes. Mahal works that attack off. I thought we saw this reach the boy. The Maharaja looking for it. There it is. Come on. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Oh, shoulder up before three. Not about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance, I'll give you that. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching from the top. Diving double axe handle. Shot after shot. Oh, ruthless striking. He's got the answer for that one. My, oh my, what elevation. Is it enough? The cover! Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Oh, oh, face first. He's looking a little weary now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. That running knee. Right between the shoulder blades. There he goes. 
goes right into the corner. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you... I can only imagine what they have planned here. Actually walking up the, the ropes backwards with a human being on their shoulders. Avalanche gut. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Uh, the referee was about to help the winner celebrate. They wouldn't have none of that. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times, this is exactly why. Britain's most beautiful import sent to us in a pair. Yes, boy! The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, Ken Wilson and Elton Prince, pretty deadly. Here's a team who are completely in sync with each other, the epitome of teamwork. Now, they're also in sync when it comes to annoying their opponents as well. Yes, boy! Stop saying that. Come on, Byron. Give me one. Yes, I boy! Not. No, I'm not saying it, Corey. Do it. Do it. can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy! Come on, Cole. Please? Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. Say hello to Imperium. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And their opponents at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. Getting ready to kick off this exciting tag team match. It's going to be Kit Wilson and Elton Prince. And they'll have their work cooperating cut out for them here, dealing with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. Hard to decide what team has the advantage here. 
It'll probably come down to who can cut the ring in half the best. Who can control the pace? What a forearm. Ludwig was ready for that. Able to avoid there. A neck breaker. Cover! And kick out at only one. There is no quit in this man tonight. Set right out of the ring. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop, too. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Uh, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Oh, oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Oh, and a stop. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me! DDT! The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Yes, tag! Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Elbow smash! Kick to the gut. Here he goes for the win! And he closes it out. Great officiating, as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Look at this. Boom. Nice. And set right into the corner. Set to the outside. That's a long. Tagging his partner in now. Almost drove him through the ring. This is going to get ugly. But Big Kaiser with an air raid crash. Is it enough? The cover! Stopping the ref's count at two. Good lord, scarily close to three. Any form of consideration seems to have left this rival. Ludwig Kaiser with a left that's beaten. Kaiser has all but ended this. Look in for the next. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. From the top rope, beautiful drop kick. This match grinded him down a little. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. He got whipped into that corner. Trapped in the corner. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh! Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Ludwig Kaiser with a leg that's written. That could ground kick for good. He stays alive, he stays alive. Unreal, unreal to kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. He's looking a little off balance. Damn. Shot right to the gut. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Tagged in. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. Ooh! And a drop kick! Picture perfect.
And he slides him back to the mat. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Tag is made, and here we go. Saw that one coming right across the face. And I think, oh yeah, Kaiser is bleeding. Oh, a gut buster. That's gotta be it. Two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. He just won't give up. Big boot. Vicious. Elton ending this fight right there. Shoulders down. What a win for this team. There is ample oh, cause for Gallo. Yeah, Come on, can the... somebody show a little bit of coup? I mean, maybe some sportsmanship every once in a while. No, yeah, apparently there's too much to ask. You win the match, now you've got to brutalize the losers. Even Graves can't defend those actions. Now you're right about that one. Yeah, these two really proud of themselves now. Dog from the underground has returned. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. Yeah, you can't help but think about the emotional roller coaster that Sammy Zayn has had. Not a friend in the world when he was spreading conspiracy theories and then found a family in the bloodline. But now, he's got the entire WWE Universe by his side. Let's not forget, a rekindled brotherhood with Kevin Owens. Win or lose, there is one guarantee about Sami Zayn, and that is each and every night, Zayn competes with all of his heart. The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault.
You can feel the anticipation here as Bray Wyatt commands the WWE Universe. A man who always succeeds in unnerving his opponents. stared into the abyss and he liked what he saw. The self-proclaimed locker room leader, Sami Zayn, ready to kick things off here. Being an honorary ooze has taken Sami Zayn's status to the next level. Always the opportunist, Sami saw that there was some mutual back scratching that could pay off once he aligned himself with the bloodline. We'll see if this so-called affiliation Zayn has can produce any results in this match. And he is meeting face-to-face -face with Bray Wyatt, a man who could tear you apart both physically and mentally. Wyatt's never met a mind game he refused to play. Just remember that for this match, folks. There's a certain unknowable mystique that Bray Wyatt carries with him into the ring. How do you account for that in a physical contest? Well, we've seen Bray caught unawares in the past. He never believes he's in trouble until he is. When that happens, you put your foot on the gas and don't let up. Oh, ruthless striking. And Sami Zayn River. Zayn with a takedown. Oh! The coaching clutch. He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He may have to tap out. It is locked. No. What a reversal. Incredible. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Vicious right forearm. He switches it back around. Unbelievable athleticism. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Kicks out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Kick lands. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Up high, cross body. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. No kick out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Quick strike to the lower body. Clearly, Bray Wyatt's. Wyatt showing how to manifest pure physical anguish right on target. And Wyatt falls to a counter. Oh, what a plex. Placing them into the... Paluma kick! As Sammy ended it there. This is classic Sami Zayn. Through the post, Tornado DDT. Sami Zayn delivering that move with tremendous impact. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, as Zayn's persistence is clearly paying off in this one. But for Wyatt, it's become habitual to take his opponent's worst punishment with a smile. Look at a Sammy's eyes. Zane absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. Incoming! Diving Hurricane Rana! Whoa! Attack after attack coming from Zane. Wyatt looking for answers. He really got caught unaware, huh? Oh! 
clubbing blow. No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Swinging gut buster. And Zayn looking a bit worse for wear after being on the receiving end of that offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Ooh! That hurt. Boom! Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Shane must be phased after this string of action. Yeah, Sammy's defensive. Oh, there it is! The Mandible Claw! It's locked in! Will Wyatt end it here? Makes the cover! It's over! It is over! Here's a few clips from the last match for us. victory for him in this match. Sami Zayn just suffered another miscarriage of justice. Oh, that's a shame. Here comes the Tribal Chief. A decade of dominance, even more powerful than ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great, a multiple WWE and yeah. Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. How about five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline. A man who used to fight with honor, but now we'll do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. But there's one guarantee, whenever Roman Reigns enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion within the WWE Universe. It's all about his yard. We are about to hear the sinister siren song of Scarlet. It is a tune that has struck fear in the entire WWE Universe. One of the most dominant competitors in NXT history. TikTok Doomsday has arrived.
The time has come to fall and pray. And Roman Reigns is really taking things to a new level since he ascended to the mantle of the tribal chief. I believe on a number of occasions, he's even said that we work for him. His name isn't on my check, but I can't deny that Reigns has reached his full potential. He carries himself differently. He competes differently. He's definitely achieved a certain level of greatness. A very vindicated Reigns looking to be acknowledged here tonight. But on the other side of the ring is a truly twisted individual, Karrion Cross. He's proven to be an absolutely cutthroat superstar who has a callous disregard for the well-being of his competition. He gets in the ring ready to maim his opponents. You say that like it's a bad thing. For Karrion Cross, it's not enough to just win matches. He needs to see his opponents broken. That way he ensures they'll never get in his way again. I think it's a sound approach that will serve him well in this match. Cross fires back. Boom! Boom! Look at this. Trying to shatter the ankle. Assailing the joints of the leg. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Back suplex, no! Driven down! Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, bang! Face first! Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, what a clothesline. Roman Reigns giving the people in attendance the chance to acknowledge him. Charmin suplex. Facing Roman Reigns is truly one of the toughest tests there is here in WWE. What's the best way to pass? Get ready to go long and keep the pace. Reigns likes to take his time, and he gets in your head, too, with all that yelling. Be ready for a marathon, not a sprint, and don't let Roman intimidate you. Oh, and a reversal. Ooh. Knee strike connects. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Reigns heads up. This is going to soaring. Elbow drop to the heart. He's struggling a bit here. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Submission and the left hands will do it. Placed in the corner. Superman punch by Reigns. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. Carry him right out of it. Major, major win. That'll change his career. How about another look at some of the highlights? Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! Gotta hand it to our winner, standing tall with their arm raised tonight. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer 
his opposition. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And the fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Shane! Ridge, Holland, Seamus, Butch, three men bonded by their love for fighting. Now you could say that again, Cole. These three will fight anyone in the locker room, anyone in the street. Heck, they'll fight each other if they have to. Hey, no matter who fights who, there's one guarantee. It'll be fun to watch. The Brawling Brutes are about to show us all how they earned that name. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. Sheamus is known the world over as the... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Just wrenching away. Drew McIntyre is in a bad... Ah, oh, look at this. That's a great escape. Big slam. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Perched up top. I mean, knee drop. Just dead lifting right there. The power. Power slam. For the pin and the win. Yes. Shoulder shoots up before two. Wow. Driven down. Neck breaker excellently executed. To reverse. Like a Terminator, McIntyre's eyes are seeing red. Oh, neck breaker. Corey, what is the path to victory for Sheamus in this one when McIntyre knows what Sheamus is going to do before the Celtic Warrior does it? These men were once closer than brothers. Sheamus must remember he can't allow Drew McIntyre time for Kamura. Oh, the Kamura. Kamura lock applied. Will they tap? 
Tap out. Do it now. Live. And look at this. Kamora lock. Nowhere to go but for him. Oh, my God. They broke out of it. Got to find a way to get out of this. Targeting the throat there. Sheamus looking a little bit surprised here. Now, that'll do some serious damage. From the top. Close this out. Two hangs on by a thread. Sheamus powered out. The Celtic Warrior proving his toughness tonight. That was supposed to be it. No one is more shocked right now than McIntyre. Future shot. DDT. Cover. Two kicks out. He still has life. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. What are they going to do here? We're about to find out. Corey, this can't be good. Backbreaker. And it's not over yet. Another. Just punishing. And Sheamus can't seem to get out of harm's way. Yeah, Drew physically breaking Sheamus down. Caught with a neck breaker. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre knew to defeat Sheamus, he'd have to be relentless. The pendulum swung back and forth tonight and finally landed on the side of the Scottish Warrior. Brothers no more. McIntyre and Sheamus did battle like the most bitter of enemies and held nothing back. I truly hope that these Warriors will clash again. You can feel the electricity in here for this match. The WWE fans on... Well, look, right in front of us! No, 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 turn around, turn around! From out of the WWE Universe comes their opponent, who now has a clear advantage, and the bell hasn't even rung yet. Well, we're gonna start the match like this? How can you condone that tactic? Yeah, but now you can uh, pretty much be sure that this competitor is gonna be... And he goes for the pin. Stops the count before it, too. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Chop! Sent into the corner. Face full of turnbuckle. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Oh, my God! Ascending up. Oh, impactful splash. Uh-oh. And a carefully measured knee drop. Gulak's strategy paying dividends. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. Counters! Crucial turnaround there because Gunther was falling behind. Gunther could be turning his fortunes around. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, down by the DDT. Oh, look at this. Creativity applied with the wrist clutch lever and painful as well. He's heading up top. Thinking big. From the top. No, 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 no. Moved out of the way. Swinging neck 
backbreaker connects. We've seen Gunther stop people dead in their tracks with a single thunderous blow. How do you deal with an opponent like him? You have to weaken him all while making yourself a hard target. So be selective with your attacks and try to land blows to the legs or midsection. That'll help cut the big man down to size. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. After one, he's still got life in this matchup. Here's the torture rack. Racked up, not finished yet. Into a neck breaker. For the win. Two. How in the world did he kick out there? I thought for sure he was done. Just look into the eyes of these superstars. They're clearly out for blood. From the top, through the air. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Right over the metal right now. Gunther cuts him off. Gunther showing he's not out of it. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. All the momentum swinging away from Gunther. Some very selective offense against Gunther. Whittling the big man down while also attempting to avoid his grasp. Delivered into the barricade. Punch him in the chest. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Gulak with a resolve in his eyes now. No thanks to the WWE Universe. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, right to the throat. And the ring general, Gupther, with a salute of... Not allowing that to go on any longer. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Powerful contact by Gulak. He must have seen that coming. Sleeper slam. Nice snapmare. Ooh, a chop. Boom. Swinging neck breaker. He's got him scouted. Series of reversals. And a fiery lariat. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Gunther wants to finish this. Power bomb. Gunther can taste victory now. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, Gunther! What an uphill road to victory. But they got there in the end despite taking an unexpected beating earlier. What a display of courage, battling to the win against all odds.